Here I want to demonstrate that when a ball is thrown, even though side spin is transferred to the thrown ball, the thrown ball still heads in very close to a straight line path. So here we have these two frozen balls, the 12 and 13, and the impact line through their centers heads well to the right of this corner pocket. It heads more than three quarters of a diamond away from the corner pocket. But we're going to hit this ball, we're going to hit 12 ball with about a half ball hit uh, cut angle. The 12 will push against the 13 as it's going to the left. That will throw the 13 to the left and impart side spin to the 13. So let's see how that looks. And then I've placed two cue sticks uh, bordering the expected path of the 13 to show that the 13 does not curve appreciably after it's thrown. So on that shot, the ball was not thrown quite enough, so the ball glanced against the right-hand stick slightly. So again, I have the balls frozen. Their impact line through their centers is heading at about the half diamond point. It wasn't getting as much throw as I thought it would, so let's try this. Notice how the strike of the 13 does not maintain its orientation. Because as we throw and transfer spin, the 13 will develop side spin, so its strike will begin to wobble. But as you can see, it had it perfectly straight after it was thrown. Let's try it again. That was a little slower. Again, it heads perfectly straight. Pocket speed.